Let's go. We have the reveals for the Piccolo and Gohan from Dragon Ball Super Superhero. How's it everybody? Celtic League here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video in today's video. Boy, are we hyped. We have the information for the Orange Piccolo and the Beast Gohan with a surprising twist. So we're going to go ahead and go over all of that information, animations, details of their kits, as well as some surprising info drops about the upcoming campaign. So let's go ahead and let's start by taking a look at the animations for the Gohan. So make sure you adjust your volume accordingly um, so it's not too loud on your end. And let's go ahead and let's take a look here. Where is it? Here we go. I will defeat you! Wow. <laughs> that sounded kind of off, but all right. Global Twitter once again forgetting the OSTs. Oh, he's got a counter, yes! Oh man, his ultimate. Oh, this, his animations look so good. But he's got the Kamehameha, that means he's on the gods team. Excellent. Oh my goodness, it's my turn. They gave him the, it's the active skill. Oh man. Oh, that looks so good. And he's got the windscreen. Wow. Oh my goodness. How, how do you even top that? That looks insane. And it sounds incredible too. Despite the fact that Global forgot the OSD. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. Let's jump over. Let's take a look at the Orange Piccolo's animations here. Here they are right here. Let's go ahead. Let's take a look. Again, adjust your volume if you need to. I told you, King Piccolo was the old me. Nice. This is not gonna end like it did before. Oh, I love that. That looks so clean. Oh, I knew they were gonna have this shot. As soon as I saw he was power awakened, I knew this was gonna be the shot. Nice. Nice. Man, his animations look good. Wow. Thank you, Shenron. That little extra went a long way. That was the warm up. I'm just getting started. Oh, so he does transform. Okay, good. Wow. Oh my goodness, those look so clean. Wow. Oh man, I can't believe it. They really outdid it with those animations. Good lord. Man. Okay, well, let's waste no further time. Let's go ahead and talk about what these guys do because I... Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, let's take a look. Let's see how close we were in our predictions. So, 
He leads superheroes and hybrid Saiyans, what I tell you guys. For key three HP attack and defense, 170 with 30% to bond of parent and child. Ooh, okay, that's even better, right? I thought bond of master and disciple and movie heroes. Very nice. Okay, so this is actually a really good setup. Bond of parent and child, getting that little bit of extra for him. Okay, nice. So superheroes, still unsure what that covers. I guess we'll find out soon in game whether or not it's uh, just characters from Dragon Ball Super Superhero or if it's all super... All, all characters from Dragon Ball Super. I suppose we'll have to see soon. So, um, he activates an entrance animation once only uh, and gets attack and defense 100% and guards all attack for three turns from the start of turn when there's another bond of parent and child category ally on the team at the start of the attacking turn. He gets attack and defense 150% uh, plus an additional key one per key sphere obtained and an additional um, attack and defense 30% with each super attack performed. So he gets stronger the more he launches. He launches additional attacks that have a great chance of becoming a super attack. So that's 50% chance uh, when key is 21. Nice, they gave him the god's effect. Yes, okay, he is attacks effective against all type when activating the active skill or when key is 24. Nice, okay. Um, so just like the gods, he gets effective against all types with 24 key, like I thought he would do. Nice. Um, he has a high chance of nullifying key blast super attacks. Very, very good. Okay. Nice. So, honestly, that's not bad. He's very attack oriented, like we thought he would be. Um, let's take a look at his super attacks. So his 12 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, um, and causes colossal damage. Wait. Greatly raises attack. And raises defense for one turn. Okay, so he stacks attack on his 12 key, right? And then he greatly raises attack and defense for one turn on his 18 key. Okay, nice. All right, I like that. Okay, so at least he's stacking attack. That'll help him out a lot. Um, his active skill, the special beam cannon, the Makan Kosapo, um, can be activated when all allies attacking in the same turn are superhero categories, uh, starting from the third turn from the start of battle, or when facing one enemy, uh, starting from the sixth turn. Nice, no condition. I love it. It's, it's just be on a team with other superheroes or six turns. That's e easy enough. Um, he greatly raises his attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to the enemy and disables the action. Unfortunately, they gave him the active skill action cancel, which is fine. I'll still take it. It's still a good effect, but uh, I would have preferred it on the super attack. But still, very nice. I will take this. Um, awesome. Okay. Oh, actually, nice. He stuns on his 12 key too. Okay, cool. Um, Honestly, he's not bad, actually. He's lowering attack and defense. He's raising attack, and he can stun. Um, that's, that's pretty good. I like him. Um, he's he's pretty good. Okay. Um, I am disappointed that the transformation into Beast Gohan is only an active skill, but his kit otherwise seems really, really good. He'll fit snugly onto the gods team, right? Or the gods will fit on him. Well, no, actually, I don't think they'll fit on well, it depends on how superheroes work. So uh, they might be on his team. Um, but his links are all of family, same warrior race, in fighter, shocking speed, fierce battle, kamehameha, legendary power. So five links with tech ultimate go on, I think. Right? Five? Yeah, five. Nice. Okay, I will take that. So he's actually pretty good. Let's take a look at the Piccolo here. Um, so he... Ooh, wrong one. So that's the Piccolo. Um, so in his base form, he is, his leader skill is superhero, battle of wits, category key three, HP attack, defense 170. So I wasn't expecting battle of wits. I should have, but I wasn't expecting it. He's also an additional HP attack and defense 30% to bond of master and disciple and movie heroes. Like we thought, bond of master and disciple. He activates an interest animation once only and attack and defense 100%, guards all attacks for three turns from the start of turn when there's another bond of master and disciple category ally attacking in the same turn at the start of the character's attack attacking turn. His attack and defense 150% plus an additional key one per key sphere obtained. Reduces damage received by 20%. And see, I told you guys he was going to be the defensive one, right? Um, plus an additional attack. Oh, receive with each attack received up to 150% for attack and defense. He gets all allies key two within the same turn after receiving an attack. So in slot one, he's then given everybody key two. So nice. Um, if HP is 30% or less starting from the character's attacking turn, receives an attack seven or more times in battle, recovers full HP once only, and additional damage reduction of 30% starting from that return. 
So, unfortunately, they gave him that super conditional revive that the uh, the six-year LRs have, which I don't like, right? Seven or more hits, and then also be below 30%. Um, I mean, with him in slot one, that won't be too hard to do, but still, it does... Um, yeah, so he... Oh, fully recovers HP once only. Um... Wait, no, that doesn't say revive, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, no, so that's not a revive. That's just he gets a heal. Okay, nice. Okay, actually, so that's not a bad at all. Okay, he just gets a free heal if you fall below 30% and you've met all those other conditions. So you know what? Actually, that's really good. All right, his active skill to transform into the giant form. He can be activated when all allies are superhero um, or starting from the third turn or when facing one enemy from the sixth turn. Nice. And then he transforms into giant form. So we'll take a look at giant form here in a second. He greatly raises defense um, and raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage. He greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causing mega colossal damage on his 18 key. So not bad. Um, let's take a look here again. So, he's stacking defense while Gohan is stacking attack. Makes sense. Um, so, it's kind of like we thought he would do, right? So, let's take a look at what he does in his giant form. Um, so, his giant form, um, always pretty basic with the giant forms, right? He receives an additional key too per key sphere of tame. Oh, okay, so that'll make it easy to get his 12 and his 24 key. Um, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Okay, nice. Um, how do his super attacks work, though? Let's take a look here. Alright, um, super attack effect. Massively raising attack causes a chance of damage. So basically, if he gets any extra hits, they're going to be even stronger. Greatly raises attack. So 12 key, greatly raising, 18 key, massively raising. Not bad. So, like I figured, insanely defensive and then meant to hit like a truck once he transforms. So I will totally take that. He's that's they're both really good. Um, like I said, I am really happy about these. I think they did Piccolo really well. Um, they gave him the defensive option that he needed. Um, so you know what? This is good. Um, let's take a look at the banner units. We actually now have the info for the banner units since I've been talking. So we have the pan here. Uh, Bond of Parent and Child, Category Key 3, HP Attack Defense 130. That's to be expected. She is Key 2, Additional Attack Defense 100%. She gives Superhero Allies Key 2, Attack Defense 30%, and Additional Key 1, and Attack Defense to 20% to characters who belong up on a Parent and Child. So 50% support. Yes, I love it. Medium chance of evading enemies' attack, including Super Attacks, plus an additional chance of evading. 30% when facing one enemy at the start of turn launches additional attacks with a high chance of becoming uh, Okay, so she's got a pretty good dodge chance um, high chance of becoming a super attack um, when facing two or more enemies um, Plus an additional attack and defense 100% and high chance for a critical hit after four turns after evading very nice Okay, so she's pretty good dodge tank um, As well as support. Um, I will take that. How's her super attack? What's she doing on her super attack? Raising attack and defense for one turn with a high chance of stunning. So actually really, really good support. I'll take this, right? She'll be good with Gohan. Um, where's the other one? There it is. All right. And so the other banner unit is the Gotenks and, or the Goten and Trunks. Um, they are Bond of Friendship 130. They randomly change AGL key spheres, uh, to key spheres of another type. Wait, what? Randomly change AGL spheres to key spheres of another type. They have attack and defense 100%, plus an additional attack and defense 10% when performing to attack per superhero category ally on the team, plus an additional attack and defense 100% when three or more key spheres are obtained, plus an additional 50% and high chance of performing a critical hit when five or more are obtained, and additional attack 50%, great chance of launching an additional super attack of uh, seven more. Seems interesting. I'd have to see them in game because, you know, with these key sphere units, it's really hard to judge them based on just the passive alone. Like, you really got to see them to see how it's going to look. What is their super attack effect? So their super attack is a fusion into go tanks, um, and he raises attack defense and seals. Nice. So he's a sealer. I take that. I kind of like sealing over stunning sometimes, depending on what event I'm running. So you know what? Actually, really good banner units. Um, well, I have to see more on the ban uh, go tenant trunks, but Pan does everything I wanted to. She's a dodge tank. I'll take that. Gohan and Piccolo, all really good. I gotta say, I am absolutely 
excited for these units. Um, I can't wait to summon for them. Speaking of summoning for them, we have new information uh, here from the news section um, on the Dokkan info site. Um, so we do have a couple things coming up. We have a new Infinite Dragon Ball history versus the Heroes of Justice. Um, so this will probably be characters like uh, the Gammas and whatnot. Um, we have a new story stage where we're going to be taking on uh, Awakening that free-to-play Gohan. Like I said, it awakens into a Super Saiyan Gohan. Now, whether or not he EZAs, we don't know yet, but hopefully, right, um, we will see soon. And we have a new Ultimate Red Zone versus the Red Ribbon Army. Very nice. We also know that the Cell Max stage is getting new missions as well. No new stage as far as I know, but new missions. So awesome. More stones, more difficult content, uh, more stuff to share with you guys. Um, we also have an announcement from the JP livestream for the EZAs for the AGL Gogeta and Fizz Broly. This came out of left field because I don't, I was going to predict these guys getting an EZA, but I was like, nah, there's no way. So I didn't put them in the video, right? But, you know, I kind of mentioned offhand that maybe they could. And lo and behold, here they are. So very exciting stuff here. Um, we don't know their details yet, but we will know them soon. Um, also, I wanted to share one last thing with you before we close out the video here. We do have a new summon animation. So let's go ahead. Let's uh, pause the music here and let's take a look at this summon animation uh, before we close out here. <laughs> Ooh, nice, the gammas. Very nice. All right, and I also know that there's, I couldn't find the video, but there is a screen crack where it shows Gohan and Pan, um, and then a double screen crack shows uh, Dr. Hedo. So actually, this is actually pretty, pretty awesome. So anyways, guys, that's the video. That, those are the units. That is the ultimate Gohan with the active skill transformation into uh, Beast Gohan and the power awakening Piccolo um, with the transformation into orange piccolo giant form so i am really happy about these units um not quite what i was hoping for like the standalone orange piccolo and standalone uh beast gohan but i will take it still really good the units themselves seem like pretty solid units so i am i will be excited to summon for them i will definitely be summoning for piccolo first um and then beast gohan but i would love to hear what you guys are going to summon for when it comes so uh in the comments down below let me know which one are you going to summon for um orange piccolo or beast gohan let me know so anyways guys that's the video if you liked the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already all right otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and aloha